Hey guys, I got a request uh, on how I do an eye. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. I just got set up in a new little studio space here in a garage. Uh, winter hit us really early this year, so back on track, all set up, able to paint through the winter, which is really good. Um, so let's get started on this eyeball. All right, I'm gonna use kind of fiery colors today. So light yellow, medium yellow, orange, and red, and then black to go on top. And the first step is really easy. You just basically treat it like you would uh, with a planet. So you're gonna put on your lighter textures first, lighter color, sorry, kind of in this order here. And pull some paint off, get your desired texture, and then uh, I'll go on to the next step after that. One thing that I find helpful is to get a piece of paper like this. I don't know if you can see it too well, uh, but I've just kind of arched it in a similar way to the shape of what my eye is gonna be. If you don't do that, you just spray a circle like a planet. When you go to pull the textures off for this area here, the eye iris colors are gonna be part of your background textures and it just kinda looks unnatural. So I'm gonna go ahead like this. yellow medium orange and red that part's good Cover the whole thing in black. Not too much, just kind of lighter, lighter spray. And we can pull our paper off for now. Put that off to the side. Take a plastic bag here. top I'm just gonna go from the center out uh, kind of like the lines of an iris would be Pretty cool. I'm going to go over it one more time. Just pull up some of the stuff in the center here. Perfect. Next step is we got to make our pupil. Uh, so I use a hollowed out tube like this. Just gonna pop that down in the center. Spray our black onto that and we will have the pupil. Taking shape. Now, I've never actually done this before, but I've seen people shade part of the eye or the iris, uh, kind of like you would a planet, uh, to give it some kind of perspective and depth. I'm gonna actually try that today for the first time. So if it doesn't turn out, you can skip that step and just go with whatever else we're talking about here.
about it. Probably best to let this dry for a little bit of time. We don't need too, too much. Uh, I'm going to give it probably about a minute. Uh -oh. So you just need like a planet stencil for the eyeball. Um, you're going to want part of the iris hidden. And for that reason, I'm going to kind of be a little bit off center, like so. I'm just kind of make sure that the top of my planet stencil comes over top of the iris. Okay. Now, we're going to add in what we want our, our background color to be, or our, I don't even know what the right word is. Kind of the rocky textures, we call it the skin or the lizard skin or whatever you want to do. Um, I'm going to throw some of that in. And what are we going to use for that? Let's go with... Let's go with this lime kind of green. A little bit of this mint chocolate chip kind of color. little bit of red and then dark blue that's what we'll use now for this bit you want to just make the shape of your eye um, all this stuff's going to be filled in with white but we'll get to that bit You really want to camouflage the part where there's still paint uh, because that's going to be the most susceptible to where it's going to shine through. So make sure you cover that in all your colors, that little section there, super helpful. All right, that looks good, throw some red in. darker red too. Dark blue.
to throw black over anything that sells a gap in it or is still showing some of the undercolors. Don't have to be full coverage, but pretty close. And then make sure you get that edge of your eyeball. Awesome. Now we're going to throw a white in uh, for the white part of the eye here. You don't have to worry about just staying within these lines because we're going to be peeling paint off. So um, you want to stay kind of close, but if you get some overspray, no worries at all. It's the last of my white, so hopefully that lasts. to pull this off, reveal what we have underneath. It looks really good. Um, I like the look of it a lot. The one part up here is from where we had that piece of paper. Uh, so when I come in and do the shape of my eye, I really want to make sure they go over that section. Matter of fact, I'm going to throw just a little bit of white on there. Make sure I don't miss it. take a plastic bag or a piece of magazine paper and start putting our textures off. Um, and I do want to go see how to do this. Basically want to etch into the white. Make sure you touch the white everywhere. That's the important part. So colors red and black playing off each other really well you can't see much of the greens that we put in but we can adjust that go over it a couple times or something along those lines I'm gonna blast a little bit of clear I'm going to go over just a couple sections again, try to bring some of the greens through and it's working pretty good. That looks good. Now we go on to the other side. Um, I'm going to switch to a new bag, make sure you do that often. If you're using magazine paper, same thing. Make sure you switch that stuff out all the time. Uh, it gets really, really dirty. It starts to contaminate your paint. It looks pretty bad uh, when you go back over certain things. That could be useful as well. But try to keep things clean. Make sure you switch your bag or your magazine paper as much as you can. Clear coat. Make sure we can actually pull some of the paint off.
I'm gonna overlap this a little bit. Try to pull some of this off right here. This gives kind of an eyelid effect that looks really good. So um, I'm not just gonna go up top. I'm gonna really make sure I come down from about here all the way across. All right, round two, here we go. Looking at this, I'm gonna have to go a little further down uh, to make sure that I make it across the section of my iris I was talking about right here. Gonna need a new bag already. look at it it's looking really good um, the one exception though is this section right here which is what I was talking about right from the start so we're gonna have to add some colors into that and try to rework it a little bit I'm just going to do the green, red, and blue. Holding the can nice and close and moving quick is a good way to get nice clean lines. Uh, key is you just can't let the paint pool at all. That's really important. So um, if you're looking to get those kind of quick clean lines, nice and close, whew, quick cruise across. Uh, make sure you guys are learning the can controller or even practicing it as much as you can, just how to get the type of lines that you want because that is probably the biggest advantage to being able to do like a nice clean piece versus having um, you know, certain aspects missed it a little bit and looking a little bit off. That's really important. All right, back over this stuff. And this time I'm going to start right here. I'm going to leave just a little bit. Oh, that's starting to look pretty tie-dye. I like it. white shining through here. Because the white is not the first color that we put through, we should be able to, to get it off. Uh, just need clear coat. Let's see. I 
didn't really pull it off, but it blended it a little bit. Looks decent. Simple enough fix. It's gonna be just more black. And then right here as well. Most of my uh, cans here are getting kind of low. I'm gonna have to do a paint run soon. It's always easier to paint, well, for the most part, easier to paint with newer cans, uh, depending on what you want to do sometimes. Those spent cans work pretty good. All right, pull this off and we should be good to go. I'm just gonna leave a bit of the black this time around. Gives it a little bit of shading. Realistic effect this way. So that's what we got so far, guys. Pretty cool looking eye. Uh, there are some things I typically do beyond just this. Um, I'm going to add a reflection, so it's a dot right there. And then I'd be shading this out. You can make mountain ranges within this. Um, some extra stuff too. But for what I'm trying to do, uh, I'm actually going to leave it. Looks really, really cool. Um, the shading effect for the iris here looks really good. I think I'll use that from now on. Um, really gives it more of a spherical look as opposed to just a flat um, round object. So uh, I'm gonna do some more stuff to this. I'm not gonna leave it anywhere near uh, like this, but this should give you a glimpse at how to do a basic spray paint eye. Uh, stay tuned, I'll probably keep filming on a separate video and show you guys what I'm gonna turn this one into. I got kind of a cool concept planned out. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks.